Hey there folks, welcome back. This is exactly where we left off in the previous episode. We are going to explore this house. This house is called the Witchfinder Station, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Witchfinder Station. There is some sort of a chatter here. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Is this like a Taken? Yeah, Taken is like uh, those shadowy figures that we have been fighting so far, so that's the name in Alan Wake Universe, Taken. So let's see if there is a Taken inside. I'm going to sh Yeah, let's have the shotgun ready. Because you never know where one of the cultists to jump out from. Anything here? No? Oh, there is something here. More shotgun shells. Nice. Can never say never to the shotgun. Rest easy, buddy. What is that? Oh, that's like a deer head. Okay. So thoughtful of you, Saga. Hmm. That's like Windows 98. I guess I need to figure out the password. So it should be a six digit password. Okay. I'll get back to it. Anything else that I can open? I can go upstairs as well, or just check out this room. You know what, let me check out this room first, and then I'll go upstairs. Nothing is here. Oh, there is really nothing here. I thought, like... That was a prompt to pick up something. A whole lot of nothing. Okay, let's see what we have here. Some more letter, tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction, the wind before answering. Observation, uh, hikers have broken off branches, some trees down the lake to manage an illegal fire. Try to fix some of the damage, uh, douse the area, maybe put uh, some more instructional signs. Uh, Wolverine, okay. Poem of the day, observation. A lot of... Um, yeah, it's very random, not really sure what's the point of all this. I feel like someone is breathing. Is it Saga herself that's breathing so hard? Maybe it's her. I'm sure this was not broken. I remember seeing this closet not being broken. Wha what the hell happened? I swear I thought someone is coming here. You know what, let's go upstairs. Oh man, this is getting intense once again. The background audio, then Saga's relentless breathing makes stuff even more intense. 
Uh, okay, so let's see this. Uh, research into the reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake are utilizing fiction and art as a source and then manifesting the results into existence. The FBC, Federal Bureau of Control, intends in the research uh, project is to experiment with nursery rhymes hereinafter referred to as fiction in an attempt to recreate conditions under which writing could become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass but that are not known to their later curator, uh, creator, mm, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for past events, uh, even after which they serve as a source of their inspiration. Uh, by the fiction itself, oh my god, there is so much writing to read. And this experiment will create nursery rhymes uh, text um, with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via careful uh, testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself into life. A variety of combination in one being the dolls, symbols and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amount of data. Uh, with that, um, with the hope, a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing. Okay. Now this is creepy. So this is n has nothing to do with Alan Wake or the darkness. It is the FBC is doing. They are doing some sort of freak experiment here with rhymes. I guess we'll figure it out soon. Because uh, once we have completely done it, it will bring out some sort of monster, I guess. Hmm. One thing to notice, you really can't see your face in the mirror. Yeah, you really can't see anything. I wish there was, a, there was an option to turn on the lights and stuff. Which finder station? The site's in Cauldron Lake. Okay, stream side and then the Cauldron Lake rental cabins. Okay. Good to know. So there is altogether four. Another doll. Hero doll. Wolf doll. We need like four of them. So I have two here. Any other dolls here? Doesn't look like so. Let's go to mine place and see if we can put something up on the board. Alex Casey's lunchbox. Okay, it will go here. Let's go back to the case board nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Yeah, and you wanted to take a, a doll from here for your daughter? I'd keep that away from my daughter if I was you. Cauldron like rhymes.
Oh. Yeah, let's put this tree up here. Wolf doll. <coughs> Hero doll. And then uh, what else we have? The crow doll. So this will all go here. And this one, I found a strange rhyme on a sheet of paper with children's drawing. Okay. Doesn't look right. Okay. <laughs> what is this setup? Why are uh, the tripod some kind of experiment? Yeah, it was experiment. You already read about that. So there is nothing else here. Right? Yeah, nothing else for me to look at. Oh, there is two closed case, right? Cauldron like martyrs. Oh, this is the main case. It has been solved. Okay, cool. So now let's go back. I just noticed I have a weapon upgrade, I think. Let's do that. Hold the fire to activate auto fire mode. This is signaling the rate of fire. Okay, more bullet, another headshot. Um. This seems like but you know what? I'll go for this. Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets, she fired again. Oh, maybe I should have upgraded this. Okay. This looks like a nice one. Ready for more. Yeah. Anyway, we got uh, this. This is not bad. So we can definitely fire more. Let's go down. The hero, driven sound, strong, left home. Uh, from the woods came the wolf, so gritty. Okay, so I see. Uh, from the woods, you need to put the wolf doll. He ate what he found in the house without a host. He returned to find she lost the thing she loved most. Okay. No clue how to resolve it as of now. But I guess I'll get more hints soon. So for now, let's just uh, keep on going. Yeah, let's go through here.
Well, the music is so atmospheric. Uh, from Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way to California. Mm, wild gray wolves. Okay, this is some uh, geographical information that we have here. Why can't I use it? Okay. I guess I can't use it right now. Maybe there is another kind of stash that I need to find out. Which one? Okay. I'm doing good. Okay, this is another of those experiments, but I need to read these rhymes. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Yeah, I can place dolls here as well. So, one here, one in front of the... Which finder station. Good. As of right now, I'm really not sure how to solve this puzzle. We need to explore a little bit more to find more stuff maybe. And I'm sure there is going to be a combat encounter here because there is a street lamp here. So definitely we are going to find some sort of uh, uh, encounter here. This is where we go to the Witchfinder station. Oh yeah, exactly. We have been here. Let's go this way. What the hell? Uh, everything is locked here? Every damn thing is locked. So where's Saga going to get her supplies from? I guess there's really nothing here. I need to go elsewhere. I need to go to... There's a container there. But that container is locked as well. Yeah, it's locked. In the map it doesn't show that it's locked. Anyway, I know for a fact that it is locked. We want to go here, right? I don't know, this is so creepy. I'm scared to go forward. I'm super duper scared. Oh look, there is something there. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, it's just water. I thought like it's some sort of like darkness goop.
Okay. Very close encounter there. Huh. What is this we have here? Can we interact with this? No, 7 minus 2. That's what I read, or minus 2. Okay. Minus 2 it is. <coughs> minus 2 plus 3. Plus two. Plus two. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Okay. Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? Okay. Ah, I know what it is. I have to do those maths. Uh, what was it again? Plus three, six plus two, eight, three Five, six, eight, five, six, eight, five. Okay, let's do it again. Six, eight, five. Six, eight, five. Rock, rock, tree, six. Six, five. Six, five, eight. Okay. Rock, rock, tree. Okay, got it. So, if I'm not mistaken, so this one is going to be eight. Five. Then six. 7 minus 2 is 5. 3 plus... Okay, let's do this instead then. Okay. There you go. I feel intelligent. Are you one of us or one of them? <laughs> uh, you tell me. I got more and more flare. More bombs. And more... Medicates. So that's some good stuff. Uh, let's put a bomb in our quick slot, you know. Uh, quick slot. Here. What is this here? Logan Shrum increases maximum health. Can I get more charms? There is no other charm, okay. Good to know. But yeah, I feel intelligent after it's <laughs> solving that uh, puzzle. That's nice, that's a nice puzzle there. I like it. It's not super hard and uh, again, it's not super easy. Like, 
where like it's insulting for you to even resolve it. So this is the rental cabin. There's a rhyme over here. Okay, let's read the rhyme. A mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast on uh, but only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Okay. This is super cryptic. I don't know how to solve it, but I guess uh, let me just keep on exploring and I'll figure it out. These puzzles are like, like they hit a good balance. Like it's not overly tough or it's not like overly easy. Like, it's not overly tough to, <laughs> like, make you just uh, walk, look at a walkthrough or something. But then like, it's not overly easy with, like, map markers and so on. That you feel, like, insulted to even do that uh, puzzle. But this is a good balance. I'm loving it. I have to turn on the generator, I believe. Okay, so this is a place where I can quick save. Guests, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike, Patty. Come down to New York and love every minute of the trip. Okay, so these are, these are like guest surveys, okay. Cool, and what is this? This is come do's and don't. Hike, enjoy and relax. Don't chop down trees, leave your trash behind, be loud and obnoxious. Um, start a forest fire, remember, always have fun. You sure? Uh, good stuff. Anything else for us to pick up here? There's a manuscript, maybe? Yeah, exactly, manuscript. Let's read that. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story. But they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark. In the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Okay. I'm identifying more stuff here, so that's always good. Well, let's go back to the cage board. There is more hints here. Uh, cult stashes. Uh, stash found uh, near a creek in the Cauldron Lake. Okay. Nothing else here. So let's do a manual save here. Okay. So I'm still nowhere in terms of solving the puzzle. Uh 
and I don't know what to do. You know what, I feel like since we hit the 30 minutes mark, let's uh, end the episode here. And since we already did a save as well, so let's end the episode here. And uh, maybe in the next episode we will uh, solve the puzzle. So, see you in that one. And for the time being, bye-bye.